every child who wants to pursue a dream and wants to convince their ward or their parent that they want to follow a different route as opposed to what they have in mind has to have this abba nahi maneki conversation <laughs> right but let me let me let me try and tell you another angle to what you went through okay that is life's way of preparing you for where you had to go think of what i'm saying the next time you faced a similar situation brother the next time you face this much of a downfall you know that you can you gone to the pits of it and have come back so this is nothing this is the tool that life prepares you for this is the only place in the world you can get that is during college time the humiliation the the resentment everything the swallowing of the pride the swallowing of the ego getting your nose bashed in they say the first guy through the wall in the army they say the first guy through the wall is the one who gets a bloody nose so you to get that you have to be the first guy sometimes but Guess what? Life can throw a spanner now, and you can still go that do- go lose everything, come to that point, and still know that you can come back to where you are because you've done it before. Is there a movie that changed the direction of your life? Oh yes, M- in more ways than I ever imagined it to. Uh, go on, which movie was it? A- a- Rocketry. Okay. Yeah. That's like now. Yeah. I assumed you'd say something from your teenage or no. I can't tell you how much how excited I am saying that it is something as late as even Shaitan for instance or or Rocketry because I'm still growing man I feel a child like uh, enthusiasm and inquisitiveness in my career and in my life even now if there's an AI that is coming up with a new tool wow I want to know what it is and I might not be able to use it or be intellect intelligent enough to apply it to it completely but knowing about it makes me feel excited so yeah absolutely and Rocketry dramatically changed my life and um, in in many many ways i can write a book on it but it just got uh, the biggest impact it had on my life is it made me understand who i really am and what i'm capable of which i had far underestimated before i started rocket tour one wouldn't imagine that someone like you also feels that amount of stress at this stage of your career because you would have probably seen all of it till now not really no every day is a monster man i'm telling you <laughs> it's why, why do you choose to wrestle with it again and again like i said i'm not ready to retire so if i find a path of least resistance i don't take it i need to take the path of most resistance because i can one layer deep why <laughs> ha so that's what i'm saying if i conquer that big problem the lesser ones are easy to manage they don't you don't see it i mean if i'm if i'm um, you know the reason they tap you before you give an injection is that pain is a lot more than the small prick that you're going to feel so i want to do this all the time to every part of my mind like mm-hmm. people love your son mm-hmm. therefore they love our madhavan's belief system which is what i wish to ask you uh i know that we are kind of tangentially moving in here because everything that you're talking about hard work and mindset you've obviously told your son who's a champion swimmer people love him people love that he's representing the country today uh first question are you aware of all these memes about you you two yes we are uh, sarita and i are not very pleased about it really uh, yeah we regret it because uh, uh comparing a child uh, to another child or to um uh you know see memes are, are meant to be consumed and people do what it takes to make the meme consumable and at times they don't realize how much they hurt other people right so when vedant gets compared to other kids in the industry it's not something sarita and i like nor do we endorse it nor do we forward it or nor do we acknowledge it yes i am not going to take away from what vedant has achieved okay he is done what it takes to get the medals that he's done and get the national record that he done and uh, being a celebrity uh, child is not easy he is going to get a lot more attention than most of his friends who achieve greater uh, level of success being his same age as vedant so we do our best to try and promote the other guys as well vedant isn't the best in the country but he's definitely uh, an actor's child who has managed to create a national record uh, when in that age group so not taking away from that um I am very aware of those memes and uh, uh, it doesn't it doesn't make me feel pleased really? whatsoever at all. When I was speaking to people about this conversation that we were going to have everyone brought this up as a compliment for you. I understand. So I'm sorry I didn't mean to no. make you uncomfortable. How would you No 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 you don't need to apologize. How do you know how Sarita and I view it? Because um it's a double edged sword. 
even for Vedant to consider himself to be uh, worthy of all that attention is stupidity. If he was not my son, and if and the sport doesn't see whose son you are, it just sees the numbers and the fractions of a second that you're either faster or slower. And the fact that he's not the best in the country. There are many many kids his age and his age group who got more records and are much better than him. Thankfully, my son is wise enough to understand all that. And uh, Sarita and I keep explaining to him that there are pitfalls of being used to the. What do you do for fun? Oh, I pl- I have a shameless amount of activities, bro. So I'm a RC pilot. So I fly planes and helicopters. That I build. I go golfing. That you build? Yeah, we build and fly. Then golfing, which is another sport. I'm a biker. I love uh, super bikes, and I'm and I'm an engineering enthusiast. So I do that. I'm a skier. I love skiing. I write stories wherever I go and you know, speculate with people. I love finding new vegetarian cuisines around the world. So wherever I go, I'm a vegetarian. Okay. Yeah, I, I eat eggs. So I'm a vegetarian. but uh, you know so i there is never a dull moment in my life and i'm really grateful to god that he's given me the right amount of money that i need to keep working hard to to fulfill all the things that i desire that money should give me so yeah that way i i'm uh, i'm highly indulgent in my life in that scene in three idiots we all had to drink a hmm. little bit yeah we all actually drunk totally totally but <laughs> like i say not passed out but we in ma in our, so amir khan's uh, idea was uh, yaar वो दारू पीने वाला सीन में ना हमेशा यू शुड नेवर एक्ट लाइक योर ड्रंक यू शुड ड्रिंक एंड एक्ट लाइक योर नॉर्मल देन इट लुक्स लाइक योर ड्रंक सो वी थॉट वी ड्रंक सो बेसिकली वी वांटेड टू शूट एट नाइन ओ क्लॉक सो अमेर मेड अ प्लान एट ओ क्लॉक विल स्टार्ट ड्रिंकिंग बाय एट थर्टी एट फोर्टी फाइव विड हैड थ्री फोर पैक्स नाइन ओ क्लॉक शूट स्टार्ट वट है लाइटिंग कॉन्ट ऑफ सो एट एट थर्टी दे सेट नदर टू आवर्स लेफ्ट इट्स नॉट आर फॉल्ट So we wanted to maintain the same level of uh, alcohol in our uh, blood, except we didn't realize that the cold Bangalore air will have a complete different <laughs> <laughs> impact on our uh, <laughs> in toxicity. So um, by the time the shot came, we thought we were completely normal, except we didn't realize we were taking hours to deliver the line. <laughs> so it was a great. Uh, there's a whole video about that on on YouTube. You've had a very successful marriage mm, in the eyes right. yeah. of the public. Hmm. Uh what went right before and after the wedding? I think we have equal amount of fights as any couples do, but I think there's a great amount of intrinsic respect we have for each other. For Sarita, I'm not just I'm not a national star or a actor that she has to be feel privileged to be a wife of. Okay? She's equal partners with a guy who fell in love with her and who respects her equally and I'm and i lose no opportunity to make her feel how lucky i am to be her husband i think that when you try to um, so why do you think people tell you to get married earlier what do you think is the reason i used to think it's societal conditioning no no the reason people ask you to get married is because you're far more open in a relationship for allowing yourself to change for the sake of another person if you get married younger yeah your flexibility to change because before your eccentricity is set in <laughs> is far easier because know this when you get married you're going to you're going to lose a lot of yourself you'll have to compromise a lot of your beliefs and your faith and your lifestyle and your way of living and you'll find that it is worth it to keep this person with you the moment you start setting boundaries and rules and agendas and things that you cannot uh, tolerate and stuff like that you you are f- so crusted in your eccentricities that the other person has to be like a jigsaw puzzle to fit in and that fit is not right then you'll be br- br- you know brushing against each other and it's going to be not be an easy marriage to have so the younger you are the lesser your eccentricities are set in the more compatible and more uh, easier it is for the 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 bonding to form that's the only reason that the elders used to say jaldi kar le bhaiya shaadi 